Hey, welcome back to What's Your Take. Today we're going to talk about the Super Bowl last night. Congratulations to the Los Angeles Rams for winning the Super Bowl 23-20. to I honestly thought it would be a much more high-scoring game, but the defenses really showed up. I really thought that the Bengals' defense did a lot better than I thought they would do. They really frustrated the Rams in the second half. I mean, right away, it looked like the Rams were going to blow out the Bengals. They had two touchdowns right away, one to OBJ, then to Cooper Cup, and they made it look, made it look easy, man. But the Bengals, they proved why they should be in the Super Bowl, and they fought through the whole game. Now, Matthew Stafford, he had a good game, and you got to feel good for the guy. 12 years in Detroit, not even making it out of the first round, to go into the Rams for the first year and winning the whole thing. He threw for 280, 283 yards. He went 26 for 40, Matthew Stafford did. Averaged 7 yards a pass. Had three touchdowns and two interceptions. I've been hearing this all year on like sports shows. Like, if you have Matthew Stafford, you better expect some turnovers as well. And he had two, and it looked like the Bengals were going to come back. And they did come back and took the lead. But, you know, Matthew Stafford, he came in clutch at the end and throwing that game-winning pass to Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup also threw a pass. Went 0 for 1. And I thought he overthrew Stafford. But then, at first, well, no, that's not right. At first, when I watched it live, I thought he overthrew Stafford. But then when you watch it, Stafford, I think, stopped running. It looked like he stopped running to me. If he would have kept running, I think Cooper Cup could have completed a pass in the Super Bowl. But, oh well. The Rams, though, could not get anything going on the rush game at all. The Bengals really showed up in the rushing game, really stopping the Rams. Um, let's see. Ackers. Ackers only had 13 carries for 21 yards, no touchdowns. The longest run he had was 8 yards. And the Bengals. They really uh, shut down the Rams' running game. The Rams had a total of 43 rushing yards to the Bengals' 79. So I thought that's where, on defense, the Rams really showed, or the Bengals really showed up was the defensive line, really stuffing the run. And they did put pressure on Stafford. Not as much as the Rams put on Burrow, but. Enough to, I mean, he did hurt his foot. I mean, they almost sacked him, and he hurt his foot through it and put pressure on him. The Rams only held the Bengals to 79 rushing yards. Passing, the Rams had 270 passing yards. The Bengals had 226 total, total yards. The Rams had 313. The Bengals had 305. This line was really, the game was really won at the line of scrimmage on the defensive side. About, I thought both defensive lines played really well throughout the whole game. Obviously, Aaron Donald coming up clutch in the end to make that sack at the end on Joe Burrow and stop him. And in the second half, they really couldn't stop Aaron Donald and he became more of a factor in the game. But... The MVP, Cooper Cup, who had eight receptions for 92 yards, two touchdowns, averaged 11 yards, almost 12 yards, a pass, a uh, reception thrown him. It got to the point where the Rams were, like, they couldn't do anything. They couldn't, Stafford couldn't complete a pass to anybody, any of his wide receivers. OBJ's out. The backup tight end was hurt, so the third tight end in. It was just like a mess, and the Bengals were going to come away with it. 
but I think probably in the huddle, Matthew Stafford just told Cooper Cup, hey, I'm coming to you like every single play now. Just find a way to get open. or And if you're not open, just find a way to catch the damn ball. I mean, he just, that's so you could tell at the end, just throwing him over and over, and why not? He was the best offensive player, I think, NFL MVP this year, and just was dominant this year. Feel bad for Odell Beckham getting hurt, but he did have two receptions, one touchdown, and averaged 26 yards on each reception. But hey, he scored in the Super Bowl, played almost half of the Super Bowl, and he won a ring. And he was on the Browns. They, they didn't make the playoffs. And he gets traded and goes to the Super Bowl and wins it all. So, talk about a year. The Bengals, got to give them props. They had a great season. No one thought they'd make it to the Super Bowl. And I wouldn't be surprised to see them and Joe Burrow back in the Super Bowl. Joe Burrow went 22 for 33. 263 yards. Only one touchdown. No interceptions, though. But here's the thing. Their offensive line is bad. They didn't do that bad. They honestly proved me wrong in the first half. They were doing pretty well protecting him. And then the second half... They could not protect him. He got sacked a total of seven times. Seven. You gotta protect him, man. Then he got hurt. Probably if regular season, he probably would have stayed out for the whole game. But hey, it's a Super Bowl, man. Suck it up and get back in there. That's what Stafford and Burrow did. So you gotta give props to both of them for sucking it up and getting back in there with the injuries they had. Stafford to his foot and then Burrow with his knee. But they, the Hobbits of Vine, they, they got to go, like, first one to three picks in the NFL draft to fix their offensive line to protect Joe Burrow. Otherwise, maybe they would have won, or maybe they would have held the lead, but they couldn't because the Rams' offensive line was just dominating the Bengals' offensive line in the second half. It was ridiculous, man. So Aaron Donald... Let's see how many stats, what he has for stats here. Williams, uh, Donald. Donald had a total of four ta tackles, three solo tackles, and two sacks. They were double teaming him in the first half. And then, like in the second half, they kind of left him one-on-one -on -one a lot more. They were staying in the game. And like he was just killing them. So, props to Aaron Donald for getting his Super Bowl ring. Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup. He's coming together and getting the job done. And McVay, you know, he did. He got a lot of crap on him in the first Super Bowl. He played, was in against the Patriots, and now Bill Belichick outcoached him. Well, now McVay can say he was the best coach in the Super Bowl. But I thought Zach Taylor did a really good job too, because he kept it, kept his team in the game, and he got him to the Super Bowl. I mean, yeah, you had Joe Burrow, and you, they didn't have Joe Burrow. You know, don't have a quarterback, you can't play well. But still, he was the coach that brought him there. And overall, it was a pretty good, really good game, I thought. Exciting towards the end. Thought it would be more high scoring. Was well, totally wrong on that. But in all, a good season, a good game. Really sad the NFL season is over. You know, this has probably been my favorite talking about the NFL on my show. But. Maybe we'll talk some more about the NFLs. There's always drama in the NFL in the offseason. So stay tuned for more of that. And another great NFL season. And can't wait for the 2022 NFL season. Thanks for watching. What's your take?